Hey everyone, this is Sally with the Polka Dot Life. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be revisiting the Memories and More card pack that is part of the Wonder of a Season Suite. We started there the other day in part one of this series, and today we're going to wrap up our series. The other day, we did some simple and easy, fast cards. Today, we're going back to those same elements and we are going to do some more stepped up versions for the avid or casual crafters. Let's start out by doing a little review of what we did on our previous video. We took some of the elements of the Memories and More card pack and we just adhered them to the Memories and More cards and envelopes. We didn't do a whole lot with them. Um, I added some rhinestones to the cards, but that was about it. So I had done this one and I just added some more of the red rhinestones and then I added an inside greeting. And it really didn't need anything more than that. The same with this one. And it was not, these elements were not double-sided. So I just went with these and just added those few gems and then I decorated the inside. And I used various stamp sets for my greetings today. This isn't my favorite um, of the elements, but I wanted to go ahead and use one of those. That one is double-sided, but I used this side for one and I just added those green gems. This one is just the same as we had done it the other day. And I added those gold gems that are from that suite. And then I added a greeting on the inside. And I may forget to show you some insides. I apologize for that. This one I showed you on the last video. And I think I had the gold gems, but I went ahead and added a gold bow. And then I just added some designer series paper and a greeting. This one I also showed, also showed you the other day, and it just was as is, um, just this layer. And so I took it and I added a greeting and some gems and some of our um, red, real red ribbon. I guess it's a ribbon, I, maybe it's just called a trim. Then I also, and I know it's not going to show up on camera, but I added Wink of Stella to the Jingle Bells and that makes them sparkly. And I just took, I'm not a fan of stickers. I will tell you that right now. I didn't use hardly any of them from the kit, but I did use them on this one and just added jingle all the way. The other day we did this one and I had just used this layer. So again, I added Wink of Stella just here inside the panes of the lantern and I added a white ribbon and I didn't think that it really needed too much else and I just went ahead and decorated the inside with a greeting. Now on to the ones that I took a little more time with. Um, let's see where I want to start. Let's do this one. I was so excited, I kind of surprised myself. I kept thinking, what color is in the background of this? And I kept trying to say it was Coastal Cabana, but no, it is our new Just Jade. And so I layered up, and that's one thing I want you to understand. None of these cards are difficult in any way. They're just more steps, more products, and more layers. So I added, or I just, built up these layers. This was the element from the card pack. This was from the card pack. I added the <clears throat> Just Jade in the white cardstock, added this crinkled seam binding and the greeting. I embossed my greetings, heat embossed them, and then I added some gems. And on the inside, I added a greeting as well. This one is still very simple, but it's one of my favorites actually. This was one of those specialty 
sheets that were in the card pack that's just one-sided and it had the gold foiling. And I just thought it needed some more of that gold to really make things pop. So I added a layer of gold foil and then this is another element from the card pack. I simply popped up a greeting that was heat embossed and my greeting inside is as well and I just added some designer series paper. On this card, this background piece is from the card pack. This is some designer series paper that matches back to that, um, some different elements in that card pack. I put my greeting on, I put some of that gold, I'm not sure what they call it, cord or twine, it's from the Forever Greenery Suite. I will tell you, it's a little bit of a bugger to work with. It tends to come undone as soon as you do something with it. It, it just um, frays, so you kind of have to make the ends be somewhere where you're not going to see them unless you want that frayed look. And then I added some of those gold gems. And on the inside, I simply added a greeting and some designer series paper. Here's another one that uses that gold foil specialty paper from the card pack. This is again, one of those one-sided elements, but it's so beautiful. And then I added some designer series paper, some cardstock, and I embossed a sentiment for the front. I used that same gold trim for the front and some green gems. And then same thing in the inside, a greening and some designer series paper. This is a really rich looking card in person. I'm not sure if it comes across that way or not on camera. I took some cherry cobbler cardstock, cut down just a tad, like I think it was a quarter of an inch off of each direction on this element from the card pack. Added that gold layer, and this is the other element. And this is that beautiful shaded spruce ribbon from the new catalog. I added a little wink of Stella here on the berries. And again, I'm sure it doesn't really show up on camera, but it just that little bit of twinkle really, otherwise that's a little bit of a dark image. And so that really brightens it up. And again, with the sentiment and the DSP. This is similar to the one that we did the other day. I just took and embossed with some gold embossing powder. These, I'm guessing these are must be bayberry leaves. I'm not sure, I'm not a very good botanist, but I believe that's what that is. And so I just die cut those and I popped them up because that's what the image is underneath there. And then I added the red rhinestones. I cut this layer down from the card pack and added some gold underneath. And yes, I did die cut an image out of that gold foil because you're not going to see the middle and there's no sense in wasting it. And again, just a simple greening and DSP on the inside. Wishing you the happiest season of all. This just has several layers. This is our element from the card pack. Actually, and this is too. I just cut this with the North Pole dies. There's a great tag in there. And so I die cut that in the shape of a tag. And this, it's probably hard to see, but this is actually embossed with the Tasteful Textures embossing folder. Made our greening, popped up this, and I did use one of those little stickers. I don't mind the poinsettia and the ivy ones, kind of ones that are like that, the floral ones, they usually are a little bit better. I will tell you, if you are working with these stickers, be really certain that they're where you want them to go because once they go down, they are not coming back up. And then again, with the greeting and the DSP. This is another 
fairly simple one, but I thought that it just needed a little bit of something to dress it up. This was our element from the card pack, and I did want some to have that gold, gold, sorry, red foiling showing. And so I just put this on here and I popped up the greeting with some dimensionals, added some gems and that gold twine and with the greeting and DSP on the inside. This one, I just made a little banner across the bottom just with our um, one of our punches and the various, just I had some scraps of the DSP and a little scrap of gold. I die cut one of the deer from the North Pole dies and I popped that up and the greeting and put a sentiment and DSP on the inside. I like this little one too. I like the contrast with the garden green and the just jade. And I added one of our ribbons that is in the garden green, a little ornament that I stamped and embossed in gold and punched out with our punch, and then just added some little gems and this gold frame and the greeting inside. This was another one using that Just Jade color. This was part of the DSP. Same with this little banner. This was one of the card elements. And then I just took this ribbon trim, I'm not sure what they call it actually, I guess they call it a trim, and I made a triple bow. And then I just frayed the edges of it a little bit. And this just tucks around this layer and added the gold embossed greeting. And this one, I also used those ornaments. Those were from a stamp set for from last year, but they carried over and they're in the annual catalog. I embossed this small ornament in gold, this one in cherry cobbler, I believe it is. And then I just I wrapped, it's probably a little hard to see. I used that gold threading. It's kind of like linen thread, only it's gold. And I wrapped that around this layer of the element from the card pack. And then I tied these on and I went ahead and popped them up just so they would kind of stay in place through the mail and whatnot. And I thought it kind of turned out cute. And then the greeting inside as well. Okay, my last card to show you today, I think is my favorite. It kind of got smushed down. This ribbon is so pretty. It would be a great ribbon if you didn't want to use it for your cards. It is great for your gifts. Um, it is just, it just feels fabulous to the hand. I'm kind of picky and snobby about those kind of things. I, I admit it, I am. And this is a wonderfully gorgeous ribbon and I just took this element from the card pack and decided that our tree needed a bow at the top. I took this designer series paper and I ran it through that textile, the tasteful textile, or tasteful textures I guess it is, embossing folder and I just popped up a simple greeting and decorated the inside with some of the DSP that coordinated with that. So I hope that you enjoyed these today. Um, they weren't, like I say, they aren't super difficult. They just take some different steps and some more supplies. But I wanna tell you, that is 20 cards that I have done. I still have all of this left to make more cards. I am going to order some more memories and more cards and envelopes to go with that. And I got to thinking after we talked the other day that those, card, um, those cards and envelopes really are of value because these are four by six here and they're like a quarter of an inch scant of the card front. And you would have to take a sheet 
of cardstock for each card because you're not going to get two like we normally do, like our A2 size, but since these are bigger, you would only get one from that cardstock. So it is a great value. If you would like to order these supplies, I would love to be your demonstrator. As always, remember to be kind, send a card, and do something creative. Bye-bye.